The St. Patrick's Day Parade through Waikiki is this Sunday every year, of course. The Grand Marshal is the one person named the Irish Person of the Year. And this year's honoree is a familiar face with a very familiar voice. In fact, he's a longtime voice of UH Sports, Jim Leahy. And, you know, he says he's actually not enjoying retirement. <laughs> I could probably understand that. Kathy Moneno spoke with Jim and his wife for tonight's Kupuna Live. The St. Patrick's Day Parade always falls on UH game day. I always had a game. It was always on a weekend. I always had a game. Couldn't do it. Bill Comerford, uh, he was the one that, he's the heart and soul of St. Patrick. I owed him because he kept asking me and asking me. And so finally, this year, I said, yeah, okay, I'm your man. I was told that you said you would do it, but you're going to bring Tony. Yes, I am. Yes, I am, because... Uh, by many different means, she, she has become Irish, too. And her children are part Irish, right? I'm very proud of him because he's, you know, he's half Irish, but he's Irish to the max, down to his toes. And uh, I think he's never been to Ireland, although we've been trying to talk him into it. But I think by some kind of long-distance thing, he kissed that Blarney Stone a lot of times. Jim's father was Irish from Tacoma, Washington. He came to Hawaii with the Navy and met Jim's mom. He was really an Irishman. He, he really had a lot of pride in, in being Irish. And I think the Irish, because you're Irish, you are imbued with wonder. You're, you're imbued with, well, how does this work? What does this do? Is this? And, and, and also with, with a, a justice. You seek uh, justice in everything. I asked about what some other Irish people say are so-called Irish traits. Irish are friendly. Irish are friendly. Irish have the gift of gab. I would think so. I would think so. To put it mildly. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. Because uh, we courted for five years, and it was all gift of gab. It was all... my. God, you're the most beautiful woman I have ever seen, I have ever seen. I woke up this morning and I said to myself, I get to see her again today. I get to take her home. You know, your father never liked me, but that's okay. It's okay. Tony and Jim Leahy have been spending a lot more time together now since his retirement from calling UH Sports. Do you miss your work? Yes, I do. If you ask me, um, are you enjoying your retirement? No. It's not. See, when you had the job that I had, every day, you had to, I mean, every day, every week, you had to deliver because there was another game uh, in, a different, in a different sport with different people. You're on the bottom end of it. Ground ball, that ball hit deep to the right center field alley. That ball is gone. It's clear the voice of UH Sports thrived on the hard work, research, fast-paced pressure, the excitement of the game. You go through all of that, and you're never allowed to really, during the season, never allowed to really relax and take it easy and sit on your porch and be interviewed. He thinks of going back to teaching, possibly, but until then, he's spending every day with his wife of 53 years. She says he remembers the number because it's the same as the number of Super Bowls. And you always have something to talk about. Oh, sure. Oh, yes. Sure, like we're going to talk about this interview later in the day. And then, and then we're going to say, well, you know, we're going to be in that Mercedes-Benz, probably a convertible. We're going to have to wave to the people. How are you going to wave? You know, are you going to be like, you know, like the queen, you know, like that? Or are you going to be like me, you know, with the shaka and the stuff and stuff? So, yeah, we'll have that discussion. It'll be, it'll be good. Yeah. Kathy Munano, KHON2 News. Oh, 